Hello everyone, Lucky Cat here, and today we are getting a chance to join the early access event from Legend of Runeterra, which is the Path of Champions. And today I want to sh uh, show you some new cards from uh, this event. So let's check it out. We are filtering the card first. And choose the region. We are getting a new champion Jace, of course, and we are getting some, uh, some of his supporting card, which related with six plus cost spell as his leveling up condition. And we also get a Hammerdinger support card, which is a tech card too. And this hex tech handler can. Uh, Grand tech allies everywhere plus one plus one, which is um, pretty powerful for the tech deck in the future. And it also have a leveling up condition, the same leveling up condition as Jess, which is the six plus cost spell. And the next card is for Chief, reveal one spell mana. So we are, we can play her for free actually. When we drop her and then we are attacking. Uh, we are getting a uh, one spell mana, and if uh, the opponent doesn't have a blocker in the first turn, we we can get one spell mana for free. And then the next card is Pharaoh's Financier, which is the support card for Jace that can manifest six plus cost spell from our region only. And the next one is the Forge of Tomorrow. When we are summoned, we are getting a Forge Worker. The Forge Worker is this one, the 3-3 Charm Blocker, I guess. And when we cast 6 plus cost spell, it will destroy and then get um, and refill our mana spell. And this one is pretty powerful. We get a 4-4 elusive unit. Probably can use it as a finisher. Um, the elusive ox type but of course uh, the leveling up condition is the same with Jace we have to cast that spell the next one is assembly line we are summoning two forge workers this guy and then this one is very interesting the hextech anomaly because uh, we this card is keep turning into the other card every turn uh, when the round start or when we are draw it and we or we are create um, this card um, by manifest it from Ferris Financier or we can create from Flash of Brilliance too I guess or probably we can generate it from Marai Great Mother too because this one is cost 6 and it will turn into 3 cost spell, I guess. <laughs> and the next one is Shock Bless. Shock Bless is a Jace support card that can deal 3 damage to one enemy and then one to the others. It works like the Static Shock, I guess, because we can deal to the Nexus too, but it costs more. And I think this one is pretty powerful. This one is works like King Jarvan 3 that can draw the champion. In this case, we are drawing the Jace. This one is also have a quick attack. And the most powerful thing in this guy is it can deal 1 to the enemy Nexus. And for each 6 plus cost spell, you have cast this game, increase it by 1. So if you play for 6 plus cost spell in that game we can buff this skill and then deal 5 damage instead into the enemy nexus every time this guy is attacked so this guy is kinda finisher I guess and the skill is like this one <laughs> and of course Jace also have his uh, champion spell Shock Blast and then when uh, Jace is leveling up by playing 2 6 plus cost spell, we are creating Acceleration Gate. Acceleration Gate is a grand, uh, not grand, but give us 
plus 2 plus 0 and then quick attack and if our allies have quick attack or double attack already it will generating a random keyword instead but only uh, work in this round so that's it for the new card I guess so maybe we can try the deck I have built but unfortunately in this early access we cannot play against another player so we can test it out uh, with the AI and also we are get we'll we will get a new board for this event uh, which is a Piltoven rooftops and then the guardian we are getting a new guardian related to Hextech the first one is Detective Pop, and then Hextech Beast, Hextech Dragon Link, Hextech Drag, Hextech Minion, and then Hextech Portal. And then we also get a new card pack above the clouds, A of Zone. This one is Silco uh, Sign, I believe. And then we also ha get this Hextech Crystal. And for the emote, we get this the emote for Jinx, I guess and then Kathleen and this one we are getting from uh, watching the live stream of Premiere Arcane and for Jace, Jace skin we are getting the Gilded Jace where he is wearing a pair of our officer uniform I believe <laughs> so let's try this deck out shall we I think we can keep this production sword since the production swords have a flexible mana cost and as you can see we we are creating a war mother's call from our hextech anomaly which means we, we we are getting a more rng in this game Let's get to work. and this war mother's call is very funny and it's really but we cannot keep this war mother's call because it will turn into another card next turn yeah, just like that <laughs> and we are seeing a Sankos again the card that we are never playing the Poro have an animation too I wonder why AI doing that The board is a rare one, so we can click it like that. And this one have an animation too. I think we are passing for now. We can to try to strike and then get a a mana spell, but we don't have a better play here. Should we just drop this production source? I don't think so. Because we want to leveling up Jace by playing production search. Come on people, let's make tomorrow today. And just uh we can grant Jace one of a uh, keyword quick attack or challengers, but I think challengers is, is better for Jace. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. Yeah. We're working here. We don't have to block ephemeral unit. He is killing her anyway. We don't have to block it. I like to drop Hammerdinger first before we are starting to play 6 plus cost spell because we want to get more value from from them because Hammerdinger will create 
เอ่อ elusive tag the mk6 I believe yeah floor be down and from from now on we can start to dealing uh playing six plus gospel we also can deal it into the nexus but I think we are I think we will try to kill press. We are leveling up our J's this turn. Speed up leveling up press at this point. The AI is pretty smart actually, and he managed to leveling up press this turn. <laughs> and now, as you can see, that we already uh, cast uh, two six plus cost spell. And now our Albusferos is dealing 3 damage every time he is attacked. So it works like a uh, boom cruise, I guess. I think we can try to see how does this guy works. Industry and vision, the twin pillars of Biltopel. Wow, he's he is also leveling up Talista. <laughs> We are lucky not blocking his Kalista because we are going to lose our Albus Ferros or Jace if we try to block it. And probably I want to showcase this Acceleration Gate. Maybe after we dropping Hammer Ring, right? And Albus Ferros is drawing us a Jace last turn. We are playing a 6 plus cost spell again and Jace with will double it which means we are going to get 2 keywords because our Jace and Albus Ferros is already have a quick attack. That's why I think that Jace is better with quick attack because uh, he have a synergy with uh, acceleration get because if he get challenger he get a quick attack from this acceleration get. But let's see how does it works. Hey, show me that again. <laughs> uh, the spell is counting as 
uh, two spell so that we can get two free unit for free. And also we are getting an elusive scout chase. So I think uh, that is why uh, quick, uh, we pick Jay's quick attack at the first time because we have a chance to generate another keyword beside of quick attack like this powerful elusive and scout. We also give our Alf boost Veros overwhelm and spell shield. Wow. So this this guy is, is unstoppable. So I think Jace is pretty broken if we get a right keyword because he is also can work as a finisher. And this guy is uh, guaranteed deal 5 damage into the Nexus and also because of the acceleration gate we are getting overwhelmed too which is very powerful and unstoppable because of the spell shield that generate uh, the last time too. As you can see we are dealing um, 15 damage at this point because we already has a 5-6 plus cost spell that's why the damage is increasing by 5 I mean by 4 so which means that we are playing 4 6 plus cost spell I believe this one is count twice yeah we are just playing a 4 6 plus cost spell and I think this is already a GG for a strike. <laughs> Calculated. Uh, next, we will try our best to showcase another cut that. Uh, we haven't played last time. I think we are discarding a, a mulligan a card that we already seen last time. And of course I want to play this hex deck handler which uh, have a good synergy with a uh, hammeringer. Because it grants the plus one plus one everywhere. Our our tech unit. Including Adaptatron 3000, I believe. We already get uh, two of Hextech Handler. How can I help? So it also have a quick attack that are shared to our Adaptatron three thousand. This one is created by Hextech Anomaly, as we can see last time, and this one is also Hextech Anomaly. We are getting a lot of RNG. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Actually, we can pick Challenger to pull his Teemo, but we also have Shock Blast, which we will uh, play it into Teemo. I think we need a blocker, right? Excuse me. You're a 
Democrats. Step aside. Now my Jess is vulnerable into the mystic shot. This is the officer, the pit offer officer uniform, right? Like we can see from. Officer squad or captain uniform. Most of our unit have a quick attack, so I think we are okay. We doesn't have enough mana to play shock bless, unfortunately, which means he will leveling up his P more this turn. But we still have mini morph. So let's see how this guy works. Probably it will get buff for um, for three, and this guy will get two two, I believe. Follow my lead. See. And now my MK6 uh, not vulnerable to to one damage spell like file fist. I think that uh, this hexac handler is a good card to counter withering whale or file fist when we are playing the tech deck so we can actually buff our um, tech unit more so I think let's try it out shall we so this guy is also a tech unit which can leveling up Hammer Digger too, and it also sharing keyword between our Adeptatron 3000 and now he have an elusive so I think Hammer Digger will become so powerful in this event I mean in this patch because of this Hextech Handler now it turned out that we have a little in turn 7 I think it's pretty good But of course he already have elusive unit. If he doesn't have elusive unit, we already have little here. And I think it is pretty broken. Now he can he also cannot stop my floor be gone. Uh Hextech anomaly creating us a harsh win. <laughs> Which also leveling up our G's. Acceleration get, acceleration get is definitely a finisher if we have a white ward like this. See, we are getting two of uh, elusive scout unit, and I think it is already a 
a GG for us. Our Jace is also having a scout. And my Hammer Rigger also have Elusive from Acceleration Gate too. Wow. I think this deck is very broken. I believe. Truly remarkable. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe this channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next upcoming event, the Path of Champions.